A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the first Friday of the new year. Once again, we'd like to start by saying a very happy 2015 to you. And of course, pray that 2015 will bring a lot more uh, in terms of achievement and success for Nigerian sports. Not just Nigerian sports, for you. Uh, that have taken time out to be a part of what we're doing uh, on Sports Tonight. My name is Tony Ibitoye. I want to start by saying happy Idel Molud. Uh, to our Muslim friends. It's a very specific and a significant day uh, for Muslims because we're celebrating the birth of Prophet Muhammad and we hope that the sacrifices that uh, these prophets made uh, will also impact on our national life. So our good friends from wherever you're watching us from, we'd like to celebrate with you and wish you uh, the best of this time and the best of this season. But let's start off the show tonight on a very, very positive note. It's 2015 and already there's plenty for us to celebrate. We'd like to start by saying this. Um, celebrate Super Eagles captain, Super Eagles goalkeeper, Vincent Enyama. And uh, the reason is simple. Super Eagles captain, Vincent Enyama, has been named as the best short stopper in the French championnat, that's the French league, for 2014. Uh, respected French football magazine Le Coupe uh, chose the 32-year-old Nigerian as the league's top goalkeeper in spite of Lille's average start and lukewarm begin start uh, to this new season that leaves them in 13th place on the log. Uh, Enyama is a super regular for Lille. He's played in all 56 league games every minute of the games since he returned from a loan spell in 2013. This is the second straight year that Vincent Enyama has been selected as the most outstanding goalkeeper in the French uh, top league. Uh, Enyama's outstanding performance for Lille and the Super Eagles of Nigeria in the first half of last year, 2014, has also earned him a place in the final shortlist of three for the African Football of the Year Award, the prestigious Glow Cup Awards uh, for 2014. Of course, those awards will be held on the 8th of January, next Thursday, in Lagos, Nigeria. Presently, Vincent Enyama is close to 100 caps for Nigeria's national team, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So what a way to start. What a start for Vincent Enyama in 2015. We just hope that the icing on the cake for Vincent will happen next Thursday when the Glow Cup Awards are held in Lagos and Vincent, maybe with a lot of luck, is named as the best African player for 2014. All right, let's also tell you that the program tonight is not going to be complete without you. We expect plenty of feedback from you on the program tonight, and you know how to do it. For those of you who are regulars, who watch us all the time, the platforms are showing on your screen on Facebook, Channels iPhone Sports, and of course, if you want to tweet at those handles on your screen at Channels underscore Sports at Tony Bitoye, we will be able to read your comments real time as we go along on Sports tonight this Friday. So get ready. Pick your phones, your iPad, your iPhones, your smartphones, whatever device you have, and get ready to be a part of what I'll be doing on the program tonight. There's plenty for you. Don't forget, a Friday, we will also, towards the end of the show, be taking you inside the bar. Talk about bar sports. Plenty of chess on the program for you tonight because Tunde Ogunshiku is ready. He's in the house. There's plenty for us in 2015. We'll be right back. All right, thank you for staying with us. It's time for us to move on now to the other parts of uh, the show tonight. But I won't do that without introducing to you my friends, my partners on the program. Um, coming on the show for the first time in 2015, let me start by introducing to you um, Saeed Abbas. Saeed, um, happy Eid yeah. uh, to you. Yeah, thank you. Part of the Prophet uh, Mohammed. Oh, Mohammed. And yes, also, so happy New Year 2015. Yeah, wishing you the same here. And uh, uh, prosperous uh, New Year. Good things to come uh, this year. Beautiful uh, sporting events uh, this year. And we look forward to that. Mm. And of course, Doom Nadio Konta uh, is also on the show tonight. Doom. Uh, before you give us all the nitty gritty around Enyimba, uh, Canopilat, and Dolphins of Paracord on the show tonight, happy 2015. A lot to look forward to. This is my first time in 2015. Mm. So, um, well, um, the last time we were on this show was last year. Was last That's a long time ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, what do I say? What do I say? Um, mm. Happy New Year to our viewers. Um, yeah. It's going to be a wonderful year. Mm. I don't want to talk too much, mm. but it's going to be wonderful because. Yeah, mm. We have a lot lined up for this year, a lot of competition. Let, let's start with the Glocker Awards. We just talked about Vincent Enyama. Yeah. Uh, for the second time in a row, back to back, he's been named the best goalkeeper um, in the French Championnat. Looks like um, some people recognize how much effort Vincent has made, and uh, maybe 
we are underrating Vincent as being unable, maybe not being able, he's not going to be able to win the Global Cup Awards. Are you feeling, are you having that feeling that maybe we're not really rating him as highly as he's performed in the last um, few months? Well, uh, Vincent is in the midst of um, two heavyweights, um, two players whose uh, performance now in recent times has um, we sway, sway a lot of votes in their favor. Mm. So, um, so far, the French championnat is on break, but there's a, there's a league still going on, and a player... No, no, but, but, but voting has ended a long time ago. No, I know voting has ended mm. a long time ago, but if you, if you have a situation where you have a player who will be very consistent, look like um, um, indispensable at his club, and the player is still playing, I, I don't think... Um, for, for, for at least inside of me, as a Nigerian, for the purpose of patriotism, I want, want, I want, to, I want to go to Yama. But given... What you, what, what you know of Yaya Toure? Yaya Toure. Mm. And the fact that uh, last year we felt um, uh, Mikel Obi. Mikel Obi would have gotten the award ahead of Yaya Toure because of the performance in Africa. In Africa but he didn't get it. So, um, Ayama, he's going to be a big miracle. If he gets it, then I'm, I won't be shocked. But mm. we sometimes, too, I'll say, well, even in the past, we've seen some shocking rewards. Mm. 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 Let, let me come to you, Saeed. Still talking about um, um, the Glow Cup Awards. Um, I'm Vincent Ayama. Vincent got nominated. I mean, all the major awards that we've seen that has to do with African players, Vincent is always there with a big shout. Yeah. Yaya has also been nominated for some of them, but Vincent has somehow been able to, I mean, maybe get the edge over Yaya Toure. Example, BBC African Football of the Year. Yes, yes. Vincent, I mean, ahead of, Yaya ahead of Yaya Yaya Toure. Toure. Yeah, there. that's why not winning the awards. Glow Cup Awards is in the final three. Now the French League, back to back, best goalkeeper. Surely all of this should count for something. I mean, you can't you can't undermine uh, Vincent Yama's um, efforts in time past. He's been he's been a little bit of um, con there's been a little bit of uh, consistency in him. I think uh, no, we, we should appreciate what he has been doing uh, uh, so far, irrespective of uh, being in Nigeria now for the fact that we want um, Vincent Yama to win this. I think we should also give him uh, credit. Mm. The, the most when he came back uh, from from the loan spell there, he's been starting every game for for uh, for Lille. In fact, he went there was a particular time he went like 12, 13 games on uh, uh, with, without even considering any goal. Mm. Now he's in fact he just uh, won an award. Award also now. I think it's a, it's very very possible for him to to topple um, uh, Yaya Toure to that award, but we have to consider the fact that Yaya Toure also has been called. Just though uh, though uh, voting has actually closed now, but look at the goal he scored mm -hmm. uh, just mm -hmm. the first day. Mm -hmm. But now we stand. I yeah, think uh, Vincent Yama can still that, get that it. That goal wouldn't, wouldn't count for too much now. It won't count for too much because, because, because voting has ended. Vote, I mean, at the time that voting ended, Doom Nodi, you, you, Yaya Toure has also had, has also had he's had his ups and his and downs. downs yeah. He lost his form, he was not happy at City, and there were a lot of stories around him. He didn't have a good World Cup and all of that. All of these, leading up to the time that voting ended, we're still hoping that there's a mathematical chance that he didn't get enough votes to be able to win this again. And if AI is not winning it, I mean, there's only one choice left. So you, we can we can hope against hope if only. Oh, you say we are open against hope. We can hope against hope mm. if only those that vote or those that voted saw what he just. Um, of course, Analyze uh, just now. Yes, that's what we can hope for. But the way yeah, yeah, is because I think for a goalkeeper, it looks a bit, a bit, a bit difficult for a goalkeeper to do that. Yeah, unless mm -hmm. there is no player who is consistent. Who has measured up at least. Yes, and if you look at the direction of every the viewers across them, um, if I was Africa or across Africa, it's, uh, it's the English Premier League. Defence championnat, yes, there are, con con there are some countries, but if you look at the club. Mm. Where Yama uh, currently plays, if it were to be a club like Paris Saint Germain, it would have been a bigger opportunity mm. to measure up. Mm. But mm. the club is still a big question. And, and this season, they've really struggled. They've, they've been struggled. struggling this they, season. They've, they've really struggled this Champions season. Champions League, they were mm. not even. They were mm. not into. And then for the national team as well, I mean, it's, you know the now story. Now we are not even going for the nations. You know the story. You are the bar will be going for the nations. You know the story. Now putting that, look, just look at it head to head. How many goalkeepers have won the the, the, the Glow Cup was there? How mm. many goalkeepers? Mm. Even any award. Any award at all is very difficult for goalkeepers. Oliver Kahn, yes, got something yeah. for 20, 2002 World Cup. Uh, you, you know, they came, Zaki, uh, long time, yeah, long ago, time ago. You, you, you know, you know the, the thing is that I think they should start giving goalkeepers some kind of the due. Because if you see some. Special awards for goalkeepers? Not special awards for goalkeepers. If, if there are special awards for goalkeepers, but they should at least they should put the goalkeepers as part with some of these players, right? The midfielders and attackers. How do you measure it? How do you measure it? Clean, 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 clean sheets, clean sheets. Look at clean sheets like goalkeepers. Outstanding saves. If you look at them, um, David, 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 David here at uh, Manchester mm, United, mm. he has saved them a lot. Yeah, he's been fantastic. If you have not, if you have not had some of that, those billions. But the, yeah. the problem is, how do you measure saves with goals? That's the question. That's a big question. Clean because sheet, they go yeah. one to two goals go, or three yeah. goals. The, the football, a football, a, a football is, is a team, is a team mm, game. Mm. 
Because if a goalkeeper does not make one wonderful save, like yeah. I remember the game against Ethiopia, I, I, that was our last game mm. before um, uh, at last the last Nations Cup, so 2013 Nations Cup. We saw the save that made. That save kept mm. us in the game. But we didn't, a, lot of, a lot of people forgot the save and focused on the player that scored the, the two goals that, that gave us um, victory over, over the Ethiopians. So I think um, most times, goalkeepers have been left as if they don't contribute, but the goalkeepers should be given their due. But at times when the defence mm. is very, very tight, in fact, goalkeepers might not even get to do anything. Like France 98, the defence over France was totally, totally fantastic. So mm. it left uh, Fabian Bates not really, not really doing much but at when, all. But when, mm. when we came to the point uh, where he needed uh, to save them, Two billion save from yes, yes, yes in that yes. final game. Yeah, against Brazil. Then. Against yeah. Brazil. Yeah, that would have given Brazil a, a big, a big boost. 